look at how beautiful this is right here. This is amazing. This is so nice. Ooh, some heavy crosswinds here. And right now, I am being blown all over. Whoa, my tank back just blew off. Oh yeah, some good rain now. Yep, there goes my GoPro camera again. It just fell off. Hey, how's it going? Good morning from Pioneer Town. Got a good night's sleep last night, sleeping in the tent. So last night I just hung out here, went, got something to eat. I got my burger and my beer. And then I did take the motorcycle out and went into uh, the town go to the store, do a little bit of shopping. So the plan for today is to continue down California, down into Orange County, to the next X marks the spot. And so right now we're here in Pioneer Town, and we are headed to this next X at Laguna Hills. And so normally I think this ride would only take about maybe an hour, 45 minutes, but we're not taking the most direct route. We're gonna be taking all sorts of back roads to get there. So that's the plan for today. I do have to pack up my tent. Everything is still in my tent. As you can see on the Mr. Clean, it has the shorty tail on it, doesn't have the full size tail. So I gotta swap that back out, put all the bags back on, pack everything up. So let's get going. On my way, first stop is to get some coffee. Second stop is some gas. And there's two different routes I could take to get to the next stop where the X box the spot. One of them takes about four hours, the other one about four and a half. Now, if I was to go the direct route, hit, use all highways, I could be there in about an hour, 45 minutes. But like I've said, that's not the whole point of riding a motorcycle. So when I get coffee, I'll take a look at the map and see which way I'm gonna go. Um, right now I'm thinking probably the shorter route due to the fact that I am getting out of here a lot later than I expected. I think it's almost noon right now. I just kind of like relaxed, took an easy morning. But this is a nice little stretch of road right here. Look at these. Just look at how beautiful this is right here. This is amazing. Watch out for a big horn sheep.
going to start heading into the direction that I'm going. And this is where I have to choose left or right to get to the shorter or the longer route. But I'm going to take the shorter route just because it already is, it's about noon right now, 11.57. gonna pull off the road right here. I'll wait to stop for a second. Holy shit. I think that turn I was supposed to go the other way anyway. But I just didn't feel comfortable changing lanes at that point. Wow, is it windy here. All right, I am not liking this situation. I don't know if the direction I'm going is going to be any better. Sitting here is not going to change it. And I got to fix my clutch cable. My clutch cable is very loose. I got to pull it all the way to the grip, which I shouldn't have to pull that far. And even then, it's still not quite enough. So I stalled earlier just because I couldn't pull my clutch in enough. heading down into this windmill valley so I can't imagine the winds are going to be any less down here but I'm hoping for 
maybe a tailwind rather than a crosswind. And seeing the direction all these windmills are facing, I think it might be in my favor. better down here. I think we're under the winds or I'm getting just a little bit of a tailwind but I think the winds are above my head. But that was super scary actually. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like that. I mean, I was leaning, I had to lean sideways and it kept blowing me to my left. Just pushing me, almost completely blown across the line one time. Okay, anyway, we got through that. Let's hopefully that's the, uh, the scary highlight of the whole trip. We don't have anything else like that. It is windy up here. scenic view there at or near the top I'm guessing well, we still seem to 
be going up. So there's more to this climb. And the winds are getting a lot heavier. here for the bike, pick up the bike, get something to drink, see if my batteries need changing. Okay, turning off uh, the 74 and going on to the 371, and the temperature has just dropped. Like it was cool, and then it was cold, and now I'm like freezing. Maybe not literally, but Damn. I wish I had some my warmer gloves on right now and another jacket. I guess I could stop and put it on, but then I'll probably come over the hill and it'll probably be hot again. Oh, is it cold? <laughs> I am freezing cold, so I am just going to pull over. Into an area over here. So I can gear up. I need to get my jacket. Different gloves. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, got an extra layer, actually actually two layers on, put on a hoodie, put on a leather vest, some full finger gloves, and I'm feeling much more toasty. 
bring a little bit more comfort to this ride. And it said I got two hours, 18 minutes. That's without stopping, which I'm sure I'll stop again, so. Let's get going. GPS is telling me to take a left to those winding mountains and you can see the clouds up there right now not looking too good a little bit ominous but that's the way I need to go Ortega Highway, 74. Oh, that was a weird light. It changed and then just changed right back. Is it not seeing me? Okay, good. I got a car coming up behind me. They can help change this light for me. Come on car, pull up, pull up, change this light. There we go. These clouds aren't looking too good. I'm already getting a little bit of mist on the helmet. Cars from the other direction have their windshield wipers on.
That's impressive. So I'm not going to stay long. What I am going to do is get this up just a little bit. And just let it ride. Camera mount on my helmet stays on. It fell off earlier. Fortunately, the uh, USB cable and the audio, the microphone cable, caught it. Otherwise, it would have ended up on the side of the road. that clutch cable. Continue the rest of the trip, but without this helmet cam. 